Okay, for this project, you're going to create cross-contour drawings of one organic-shaped object from five angles. You can see in my example that I only have three angles, but I want you to do five. Um, if you are able to draw on your object, it might be helpful. For the demo, I decided to draw on this banana so I could show you guys exactly what we're trying to get here. Okay, so you can see I'm drawing cross contour lines on my fruit. And notice that the lines get more dense as the width of my object gets thinner. So towards the ends here where the tips of the banana are thinner. You can think of these lines as a wire structure that would perfectly hold your object or kind of like a skeleton for your object. So after I got my cross contour lines drawn onto my fruit, I'm going to take some time and decide what angles I want to use for my drawing. So the way that I hold the banana determines the shapes of the lines. Make sure you're looking at the details. Maybe there's dents or bumps on the surface. The banana for this example is pretty smooth, except at the very ends. I decided on these three vantage points. For your drawings, you will view from five angles. Think about it as if you were using this drawing to make a sculpture of the object. Try to get all of the information you would need to recreate it. As you work on your drawing, think about your overall composition. Take up the whole page. Rather than arranging in a grid, think about overlapping and playing with scale. I decided to make my center banana the largest. So I'm going to start with a sketch. You can lay in a sketch of all of your angles or just wing it. Start with one cross contour of one angle and then layer as you go. I decided to draw the cross, cross contour on each angle as I went and erase the overlapping lines and sketch marks at the end. As noted in your handout, see how the lines follow the shape of the object curving with the form. When the object is thicker, in this case in the middle, the lines are less dense, and again where it is thinner, in this case at each end, the lines are more dense. In my second vantage point, the closest part of the banana is the most bulbous point of the curve. You can see that there's one line in the middle that's fairly straight, but sandwiched by two lines curving in opposite directions. That direction change in the curves really helps to find the bulging form of my object. You can also see on the tip of the banana that there are the only straight lines besides that one in the middle. And those are on a flat surface where the fruit has been cut. So in the end, to clean up this drawing, all I did was erase my sketch lines and overlapping lines and I'm left with this cross-contour drawing of a banana from different angles.